It's not like any other podcast. Coming to you straight from the heartland, where investing is told like it is. It's time for Darren Garman's Paranoid Banker Podcast. Hold on, because here comes the next episode of the Paranoid Banker Podcast. Well, hey everybody, Darren Garman here, and I want to welcome you to this week's podcast. I am pumped up. I am excited. I am thrilled to give you my opinion, and that's really what it is, on where you can find a double-digit return. Um, And, you know, realistically, we can all find places that could potentially provide double-digit returns, really. Um, Does it take a long time to find that? Does it take a long time to figure it out? Uh, You know, so it's not that what I'm going to be talking about on this week's podcast is going to be so revealing, you know, that you're like, wow, I didn't know that. That, I've never thought about that. That's not going to be the case at all. Uh, So full disclosure right up front. So that's number one. Number two, what I am going to talk about, though, is something that I really, really want you to do something for me. That's right, for me as um, as the days and the following weeks and the following months go by. Okay, And it's pretty easy. And so what I really want you to do is pay attention. Now, uh, don't take this the wrong way. So I'm not saying that you're not paying attention. I'm not saying that you don't pay attention. I'm just saying you really want to pay attention because I really, and I'm really kind of putting myself out here when I say this. Um, I guess I really am because I think you're going to be seeing proof. And if you've been paying attention, you've seen plenty of proof by now, by the way. Uh, especially today, the the day that I'm recording this podcast, uh, information came out regarding what's going on in the housing market around the United States in terms of people buying their own homes or condominiums. And the report was not very good uh, in terms of trends and what's happening. Bottom line is people are, are not buying as many homes as what people thought they would be. And the amount of homes being purchased is going down, not going up. And that's something that we've talked about on other podcasts and emails. And I'm not going to cover ground we've already covered. But I just use that as an example. So if you've been paying attention and you saw that article, you pretty much nodded your head and said, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much the case. And that's what's going on. And so I really want you, if you haven't been doing it, pay attention to what's going on. Get your antennas up because it's coming and it's happening. And... What I'm talking about is housing and where the migration is taking place. And so if you want a double digit return, and in some cases, I'm going to say some investors will be getting large, large double digit returns. Um, If you want that, you better be scooping up as many apartment properties as you can. Okay. So let me qualify this for just a second though. Uh, It's not just a matter of just going out and buying an apartment building. Of course you can do that. So sure you can do it, but it is getting involved in owning an apartment property or properties. Better it'd be more than one if you could that are in average to above average condition, average to above average locations, with average to above average tenant mix living in those units, okay? So in other words, you don't want to be investing in properties where they're selling guns out of apartment seven, um, where the guy's working on his motorcycle in the apartment, um, in apartment four, um, where there's a SWAT team set up to raid the building, um, where you've got graffiti painted all over the place. Okay, so you get the point. Those are the kind of apartments you want to avoid. Um, But the apartments that I gave you, admittedly, a very broad, broad, broad description. Those are the kind of properties you want to avoid. Now, you want to, excuse me, you don't want to avoid, you want to own. 
as soon as possible. Why is that? It's because people are going to rent, they're going to continue to rent, and more and more and more people will migrate to renting versus owning. So let me qualify this for just a second, because when I talk about this to people, and I tell them this, a lot of times people say, well, you're crazy, Darren. I mean, there's people buying houses all over the place. I mean, a buddy of mine just bought a house. Uh, my son just bought a condo. Uh, my father-in-law just bought a vacation home. Look, I didn't say people are going to stop buying their own homes or condos. They're not. They're definitely not. Hell, there's four or five subdivisions under development in Cedar Rapids right now that I know of and that I probably drive by every day. So that's not the case at all. Okay, that will still be the case. So the market's not dead, but the numbers increasingly, big time, are going to renting versus owning. And it's going to more, it's going to be the case more than anything in, in the future. Um, if you saw the article again, antenna up, paying attention, uh, Wall Street Journal, consumer prices did what? recently. They went up, didn't they? They went up actually larger larger than what many, quote, experts thought they would be going up. Uh, what does that do to the average person? Well, the average person now has to spend more money for the things that they need. And so when you talk about things like consumer prices, middle class, um, the ability to own, manage, maintain, qualify, and as weird as this may sound, even want to go through the process of caring for, operating, maintaining, spending money on your own home. More people every day are checking out and they're going to rent, and they're going to continue to do so. And so if you really want those double-digit returns, my recommendation, you better be getting into an apartment property or properties sooner versus later. Not only because I call it the proverbial line will be out the door for prospective applicants wanting to rent these apartments, what do you suppose happens when demand starts to exceed supply with apartment properties? What do, you, what do you suppose starts to happen? Well, rents start to increase, don't they? Okay. I mean, if you've got a line of people out the door to rent your 36-unit property, you're fully occupied, and there's a line of people wanting, wanting to rent, what do you think you can start doing? That's right. You can start raising rent, which not only increases income and return for the owners, i.e. possibly you, but it also increases the value of the property. So here's the cool thing about apartments. Okay, Cool thing is you really get a return in four ways. Okay, Let's talk about those four ways real quick. One is obvious, income. Income the property produces goes in your pocket. That's a return, right? The second way, is through appreciation, right? So you buy the building or you invest in a property or you invest in a fund for X, goes up in value, okay? So you're getting a return there as well. So you got income coming in, return number one. You've got property increasing in value, return number two. Then you've got equity buildup, right? So think about this. Not only is your property increasing in value, but more than likely, when you buy the property or you're involved in a fund or whatever, there are loans in place. There's financing in place, isn't there? Well, if there's financing in place, who is making those loan payments every month? If you say the owner or the landlord, you're wrong. It's not. It's the tenants. The tenants are making those loan payments with the rent that they're paying. So what happens to that loan balance every single month? That's right. Whenever a payment's made, that loan balance does what? It goes 
down every month. So think about this. We've got income coming in from cash flow. We've got the property appreciating in value. We've got the loan being paid down and going down every single month. And all of this is happening at the same time. I said four things, didn't I? The fourth is tax savings. Okay, tax savings. So if you invest in an apartment building and you're investing, I call it regular money, not IRA or 401k money, which is already tax deferred, you get to take advantage of depreciation and interest deductions. So what, what does that mean? Well, what that means is I could be writing you income checks for $10,000 this year, but when you file your taxes, you can legally show a $15,000 loss. Why? Because you can use depreciation and interest as expenses. So think about this. You've received $12,000 in income from me or from the apartment building you own, and you actually lost money on your tax return that you can use as a deduction. How much better does it get than that? So when you combine these four things together, okay, especially, and this is critical, this is critical, especially right now, right now, it's the perfect storm for double-digit returns. It really is. And so, um, sure, you want to be investing in the right property, sure, in the right locations, and sure, I'm not saying that all apartment properties are going to do this. I'm not saying that. But if you follow my <laughs> admittedly informal formula I gave earlier, you are going to be doing very, very well. And here's the cool thing. Anymore in today's world, you don't have to be an apartment property, real estate, landlord, property management expert at all. And by the way, you don't even have to deal with management whatsoever you don't want to. Okay. Um, you can get involved in uh, uh, partnerships, funds that actively own real estate. So like my Heartland flagship fund is an example where we've got, you know, pretty close to 200 partners that actively own the kind of real estate that I'm talking about. They don't have any management responsibilities, but they get all of the benefits as if they owned the properties and did all the landlording themselves. Okay, not a bad deal at all for them. Um, not at all. And so you've got that. Of course, if you own your own property, you can either landlord it yourself or hire a management company if you want. Uh, and sure, there is, I get this question a lot. You can always look at investing in a real estate investment trust. Sure, but that's not actively owning the property. Keep that in mind. Um, do I think REITs that own apartments will do well? Sure, I do. Um, but you're only, only owning stock. You're still playing the stock market game here because you're owning stock in a company is what you're doing. So a REIT is owning stock in a company that happens to own real estate. It is not actually owning directly the real estate. Big difference. Big difference. So those four ways that I just talked about where investors really can capitalize on making double-digit returns, and in some cases, large double-digit returns, that involves being an active owner, right? You can't get those benefits by investing in a stock. You can't. Um, just not possible. And so apartments are the place to go. And let me tell you another kind of um, hidden reason why apartments are going to be big. Uh, where if you're paying attention, this is going to be coming, becoming more and more the news. Uh, remember, I'm putting myself out there and I'm saying it here to you here. This is what you're going to be seeing. Um, apartments are a safe investment, um, a low, low, low risk investment uh, when it comes to stealing your information, computer viruses, phishing scams, fraud, etc. Okay, so I'm talking electronic consumer or computer fraud. Apartment buildings are very safe, safe places, right? So 
Um, you, you can't go a week without, in the news, some company computer system's been broken into, all the information's been stolen. So who knows how many people have your information, my private information, um, all those kinds of things. Uh, you can't go a week without hearing somebody um, wiring money to a place where they were scammed, um, somebody breaking into somebody else's bank account because they got the information and wiring money. Um, and, and this happens even with our United States government. And you would think they would have all of the necessary firewalls and safeguards in place, but they get stolen from just as easily as you or I do. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. You can't break into an apartment building. Okay, um, sure, you can physically break in and break into somebody's apartment, obviously, but you can't hack into it. You can't infect an apartment building with a computer virus. You can't. Um, you can't do any kind of a phishing scam or you can't steal people's information in an apartment building. Okay. So in other words, they're the kind of investments that's pretty much insulated from all that stuff. Right? Um, can't say the same thing with your E-Trade account. Can't say the same thing with your CD in the bank. Can't say the same thing with your savings account um, or your bond account or whatever you're doing online, even your online banking. You can't say the same thing because somebody can hack into it if they really, really wanted to. You can't hack into our 100-unit Glenbrook apartment property. Go ahead and try. Good luck. You're not going to be able to do it. And so you're not hearing much talk about this, but you're going to. And it's going to be happening more and more where people are not only going to be looking for the best returns they can get, obviously. Well, why wouldn't they? But they're also going to be looking for alternative places to park their money that is not subject to all of the BS they've got to go through, worry about, and be concerned about when it comes to people stealing their information, infecting their accounts, infecting their computers, infecting their networks, all of that stuff. You can't infect a 100-unit property. It's impossible. You can't do it. Um, so, again, you're not going to be hearing a lot about this, but where the rubber meets the road here is what's the popularity of these kinds of hard, like this kind of a hard asset investment, apartment properties. You combine that with what's going on from the, are the population gravitating towards being renters versus owners? Where do you see the returns on these going? Where? That's right, they're going up. And they're going to really go up. And so the real big question becomes, when is all of this really going to hit the wall? When are we really going to be seeing this um, publicly? Uh, and, and again, if you've been paying attention, you've seen it already. But, you know, publicly means it's front page headlines, uh, national news, then local news, and all that kind of stuff. And by the way, by that time, it's like too late. It's too late. It's like getting involved in a hot IPO, you know, too late. Um, you could argue that's the way it is with the stock market right now and why it's so volatile. You know, people are wondering, is it too late or not too late? Some one day people are saying it's not too late, they're getting in. The next day they're saying it's too late, they're getting out. I mean, that's really what's going on. Um, so really it's kind of too late for the stock market too, if you think about it. Um, and I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what's going on. So once the news, real news waves, big headlines, you start seeing these things, that's when it's too late. So the answer is right now, right now is really when you want to be, um, moving your money, um, uh, aligning your resources, organizing your financial world to, in my opinion, own as much apartment property as you can, of course, without, you know, putting yourself in a bad way. So, of course, I'm not saying liquidate every damn asset you've got and put it into an apartment building. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying if you've got money sitting in places that, you're just 
thinking they're doing okay. I'm just telling you they're better. There's a better place to be, and that's in apartment buildings. Okay, definitely. And so, uh, double digit returns. That's really where I see them coming from. That's where I see it going, and I see that continuing now for at least a few years down the road. So you want to be asking yourself, A, like I said in the beginning of the podcast, am I paying enough attention to what's going on? B, what am I doing about it? Okay, what am I doing about it? Um, And C, what are my action steps to take to take advantage of what is coming here? What should I be doing? Um, And there's a long list of things you could be doing. Anything from, you know, calling up your real estate buddy where you live and saying you want to own an apartment property and does he have some good ones you guys can talk about. Uh, getting involved in funds like um, like the Heartland Flagship Fund that I oversee uh, with my investment groups um, in, in looking at getting involved in some of those that are, uh, that have got a lot of experience behind them and already know what we're talking about, you can do that. And you can get real conservative, look at a real estate investment trust, obviously. There's a lot of different things you can do. But I'm just telling you, you should be doing something. Because if you're just sitting on the sidelines, you're going to be losing out. There's no question in my mind. All right. So, double-digit returns. That's where you need to go. And I know I'm putting myself out there and telling you that. Um... Definitely, I know I'm putting myself out there, but believe me, I would not be putting myself out there unless I really, really thought that's what's going to happen. And when you've got your own personal money involved in what you are recommending, as I do, it doesn't really become that big of a deal, right? It really doesn't. So, Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, week's podcast and the information I've shared with you on where I think double-digit returns are going to be. Question is, what are you going to do about it? And if not now, when will you do it? Take care. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining Darren Garman's Paranoid Banker Podcast. For investment questions, comments, or to get in touch with Darren, go to www.garmanblog.com.